नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर ये श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंकोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बाधरायण सूत्र भाष्य कृत वंदे भगवंदो पुन पुन ओं श्री गणेश शारदा गुरभ्यो नम शिवाय गुरव नम सो अर्चिष्मा अर्चित कुंभ दर्सवस् द फस्ट वन इज अर्चिष्मा सो मान मीन मतु प्रत्यय लाइक धनवा धनवा मीन वन हू हेज मणि वट यू कॉल समबडी हू हेज मणि नाट इफ यू हेज टेन डॉलर्स अतिशय धनवा यू शुड रियली हेव लोड्स ऑफ वेल्थ देन अदरवाइज यू डोंट कॉल इम वेल्थी यू हेज हेव रियल वेल्थ लाइक दैट वन हू हेज गॉट अर्चि इज कॉल अर्चिष्मा वन हू हेज अतिशय अर्चि ही अस् वाट इज अर्चि अर्चि मीन लाइट वाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अर्चि लाइट so archishman means sun that is the meaning of archishman basically but sun does not have sun's light is very special like like special wealth abundance why because sun is the one who supplies light for moon the creation when sun is not there his representative is there the moon provides light for mars mars provides for mercury for jupiter then for venus and then that for saturn that is why there there is a dullest and slowest darkest planet in that order so who is the most luminous of all sun that is why in the world he is called archishman but why is vishnu called archishman that's what shankara is going to tell vishnu is called as archishman the luminous one तस्य भाषा सर्वमिदम विभाति बिकॉज ऑफ हूज लाइट इवन सन गेट्स लाइट सन ऑलसो शाइन्स ड्यू टू बारो ग्लोरी सन बारोज इज ग्लोरी फ्रॉम परमात्मा अर्चिष्मंत ऑल द लुमिनस ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड लाइक रेडियम ऑल द लुमिनस ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यदि अर्चिषा चंद्र सूर्य आदय स एव मुख्य अर्चिष्मा बिकॉज ऑफ हूज लुमिनासीटी सन मून एक्सेट्रा गेट देर लुमिनासीटी लाइट दैट पर्सन इज कॉल अर्चिष्मा विच इज महाविष्णु दट्स वॉट शंकर राइट्स वॉट इज ई मीन सो अर्ची कैन मीन टू थिंग्स अर्ची कैन मीन लाइट दैट इज एक्सटर्नल वेन यू ओपन युअर आईज यू सी बट वेन यू गो lay on the bed snore and sleep you see a dream that you are sitting in a chocolate house and you are consuming all the chocolate whichever direction you are looking it's all enlightened where are you getting that light from when you are with your closed eyes who is giving you that light that light comes from your own consciousness that your consciousness light is called chit prakash ha what is it called there is a meaning of archi that's what shankara writes so what is the meaning of archi now not the external light but chit prakash ha that which enlightens your inner world your inner world is enlightened how it is enlightened before you create a creation you foresee it suppose there is a rock sitting here you already see a statue how do you see that with your chit prakash ha your inner eye who is that chit prakash you are borrowing it from somebody because not only you everybody has it everybody has it mean it doesn't belong only to you just like you are borrowing it everybody else is also borrowing that chit prakash so who are they borrowing it from archishman they are borrowing it from archishman that is the meaning of archi according to shankara archi he means chit prakash why because adishya they it is better than all other lights of the world without that light you cannot see other lights that is why people who have eyes they cannot see why because they don't have archi in their eye you know in olden days they say that my eyes light have gone away there is a expression in all indian languages like that in all indian language you have an expression 
ज्योति चला गया माई आइस इट इज गॉन दो ही हैज एन आई स्टिल इज नॉट एबल टू बिकॉज द अर्ची इज मिसिंग यस्मिन परमात्म भानात्मक लब्ध भाना प्रकाशन दे चंद्र सूर्या दे सो इन इन विच परमात्मा लब्ध भाना दे बोरो देयर ग्लोरी दे बोरो देयर लाइट एंड देन शाइन जस्ट लाइक द मून शाइन्स विथ सन्स ग्लोरी द सन ऑल्सो शाइन्स विथ कृष्णा ग्लोरी विथ विष्णु ग्लोरी न त्र सूर्य भादि न चंद्र तारक त्र सूर्य न भादि इन कृष्णा वर्ल्ड सूर्य डज नाट शाइन तस्य भाषा सर्वद विभाति बट बिकॉज ऑफ इज शाइनिंग द सन इज शाइनिंग दर इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अर्चिष्मा सो अर्चिष्मा मीन्स द एनलाइट एंड वन द लूमिनस वन द वन हू गिव्स लाइट टू एवरी बडी सो अर्चिष्मा मीन विष्णु ओके वॉट इफ ही इज अर्चिष्मा बिकॉज ऑफ दैट अर्चिता he becomes worship worthy what is the meaning of archita worship worthy there are so many things to be worshiped but who is worship worthy archishman why sarva loke hi archita because everybody in all the worlds are always worshiping vishnu how do you know then shankara quotes a purana he says sa brahma kaha sarudrascha sendra deva maharshaya archayandi surashreshtham देव नारायण हरि ऑल दिस सुरश्रेष्ठा महर्षय इंद्र एवरी वन इज आफ्टर हू नारायण हरि दर इज वाई हिस्स कॉल एस अर्चिता मीनिंग वाट इट इज अ कन्वेन्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट पीस ब्लेसिंग्स हैपीन गो एंड डू अर्चना टू अर्चिता द वन हू इज फिट टू बी वर्शिप्ड बिकॉज ऑल दिस ग्रेट पीपल आर डूइंग डोंट थिंक यू आर मोर इंटेलिजेंट दैन them since the gods are doing it follow them and do archana to architaha sarvaloki architaihi virinchyadibihi architaha virinchi means brahma ji that is why he is called as architaha now he is worshiped suppose you don't have access to temples you you don't have access to civilization you are like brahma ji sitting in brahmaloka then how do you worship vishnu kumbha ha you take a glass of water and then you invoke him that is why vishnu is called as kumbha ha kumbha ha means one who is globe shaped how do how is this universe shaped globe nana kanchanda bhavanda kumbhakun that is what potana say what is potana say he says the nana kanchada there are so many brahmas and all these brahma ji's are contained in one big kumbha which is called mahavishnu so kumbha means what that is what shankara writes kumbhava rasmin sarvam pradishtadam iti kumbha the entire universe is pradishtidam in him hence he is called kumbha also you can invoke him in a kumbha you can do archana for him even if you don't have a vigraha in your house you don't have anything just take a cup of water and you can invoke vishnu in that kumbham हेन्स ही इज कॉल्ड एस कुंभ सर्वस्वी प्रतिष्ठित कुंभ कुंभे अर्चिता कुंभ द सेकेंड वन इज मैं वै डू यू डू दैट वै डू यू इन वोक कृष्ण इन दिस कुंभ बिकॉज विशुद्धात्मा ही इज मोस्ट प्युरेस्ट वन हूम डू यू वर्शिप समबडी हू इज वर्शिप वर्ती प्युर वै ही इज विशुद्ध बिकॉज ही डस् नॉट हेव अशुद्ध What is ashuddhi? Ashuddhi means gunatrayam. Preferences. I have a sattvic. I want a sattvic food. I want semi-vegetarian. I want non-vegetarian. All these preferences are due to your gunas. Kattvamula lavanat yukshna tikshma rukshma vidahina. Aha raha raja sasyeshta ha dukkha shoka amaya pradaha. You reserve a bed in hospital and try this food. If this food will definitely take you to the hospital one day they are called as rajasaha so because of this gunatrayam that informs your enjoyment in this world you are enjoying things in this world informed by this three guna that is why you are ashuddha but vishnu is vishuddha because he is gunatraya atitaha that's what shankara says gunatraya atitataya because he is above these three preferences he does not have any preference because 
he is full in himself he is purna he does not want any dish thank you keep it you keep the tip you keep the food i don't want anything because aham purna kumbhavat like a purna kumbham i am full that's why he is called as vishuddhaatma because he is gunatraya atitaha so what do you get out of this vishodhana what shankara writes is smriti matrena paapanam kshapanat just by remembering your hunger will go away hunger is nothing but paapam you just ate still you are hungry means what you need some krishna smaranam <laughs> that's what he says prais chittanya sheshani tabakkar matmaka nivai yani tesham asheshanam krishna nusmaranam param prayashita means penitence right rights for, used for repentance you did something voluntarily you 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 made a mistake so immediately if you want to get out of that um, uh, mistake what do you do repent you have to repent that is the meaning of prayo prayo nama tava proktam prayaha means repentance chitta means manasa with one's own mind you should not ask your wife to repent for your sins hey go and do puja for me do an archana i will keep sinning no you have to do it in your own chittam that is why it is called prayas chittam one's own mind has to be engaged to take care of one's bad karmas how do you do, do that because you don't have knowledge of all this prayas chitta karma you have not read the constitution you don't know the law then krishna just say krishna by saying that prayas chittan asheshani krishna anusmaranam param among all the prayas chitta karma the best one is krishna anusmaranam why because vishodhanaha shodhanaha he can really clear you of blemishes shodhana means cleansing cleansing shodhana means cleansing he can cleanse you because he is vishodhanaha so in order to cleanse you go after him why because he is vishuddhaatma why he is vishuddhaatma because he is gunatraya atitaha he is full like a kumbha why is like a kumbha because he is archita everybody is doing worshiping why is archita because he is archishman he has got the power he has got the brilliance he is the one who is giving light to the entire universe so stip prajabhya paripalayantam nyayena margena mahim mahisha go brahmane bishubhamastu nityam loka samasta signo bhavantu sarve bhavantu sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadraani pashyantu मा कश्चिदुखभाग भवे ओम शांति शांति शांति